All right, guys, we'll start off with our taking our old brass. Nine times out of ten, if you don't have brass and you're going to get ammo that you're going to go out and shoot, you're going to have to reprocess your brass. So take a size 21 shell holder, and I'm going to take my CH40 size and die. They don't come with instructions, but just like any other size and die, you want to raise your ram all the way up to where it bottoms out and make sure you have everything make sure you have the die set up to where you can get a full stroke um, as far as uh, decapping uh, put our catch tube on here and that's pretty much all we got to do is just run through and resize them. Uh, these are already pre-lubed but I would say go ahead and lubricate all your cases. I usually use my own homemade uh, case lube but that gives us a nice decapped um, resized case and I'll just go through here and do all of them Make sure you put your primer rod in there so cases don't fall out the back. Uh, that's pretty much it. Let's go through and resize them all. Especially this one. You see how this one's the mouth of it's kind of dinged up a little bit. Should be no problem. Run it through the size and die. Knocks that out right back out, uh, and then the flare and die will take out the rest of it. So, like I said, we'll just go through here and size them all. All right, now that we've resized all our cases we'll go ahead and tumble them uh, I prefer to wet tumble tumbling is up to you you dry tumble wet tumble if you need to learn how to tumble go back and uh, look at one of my other videos I actually have one that shows you just how to wet tumble dry tumble or look at one of the various other um, videos around that shows you how to do that but next thing we'll do is we're just going to change out our dye and then we'll put in our flare die. Basically what this does, this opens up the mouth of the case where it will accept a new bullet. Like here's some that's already cleaned. You can't put that bullet, you can't start it because the case of the mouth is too too closed up from the size and operation so you set your die up um, basically you'll you want a little bit of a cam over feature so you run your, your pull your ram down set your die all the way down to it and then back your um, handle out give it about a quarter of a turn so you have a little bit of a cam over action but we'll take our case like I said that won't fit And we'll just run it up and that actually bails the mouth of the case out so that you can start the bullet okay and typically what I'll do is I do these in batches so I'll go through and size them all tumble them all um, expand the case mounts on all of them and then go in and drop my powder They're pretty easy to do if you didn't have that die you could I guess you could always get away with using a uh, universal neck die they make some for uh, pistol calibers you just have to flare out the you just have to flare out the mouth just enough 
to where it accepts the new bullet. Okay. All right, we'll be right back with the next step. All right, the next thing we got to do is we have a sized, hopefully clean case. This is one that I've just sized. I'm just showing for demonstration. Then we're going to have to put in our primer. You can use the primer arm on your press um, right here, or you know various other methods. I have the hand press. I usually sit down and do a lot of them like that. But since I'm only doing a small batch, well, we'll just use what's used to press. Basically, you just put your uh, primer in the cup, raise it up slightly, put your brass in, and then push down on the downstroke, and you have a piece of primed brass. All right, and I'll go through and do all of those. Uh, really hard to get primers right now. So, I don't mind taking a couple for for video purposes, because I, I, I'm not out of primers by no means, but this will be your, your hurdle in starting reloading, especially um, if you're a new reloader and don't have any primers and powder is going to be the hard thing to get. Now we have some um, reprimed brass.